Welcome back to NASCAR Race Hub and hello to everyone listening on Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. Time now for The Pulse with our friend Dave Moody. But wait a minute, Dave. Before we get started, it is throwback weekend, so we thought we would share this little gem with everyone. And I, I want you to tell everyone on the radio what we're looking at here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's like 150 <laughs> years ago. Where did you, where in the world? Well, I won't even ask. I know where you found it. It, it is a picture of Dave Moody, mm. and it is from a throwback year. It's, it's a full head of brown brown hair and um <laughs> it looks like it looks like I'm in my second term of president after that picture my god there's this amazing thing called google and that's exactly where we found it okay let's move on let's start with the throwback theme this weekend in Darlington a am I correct in saying that you like the idea but if drivers and teams are going to do it they have to do it the right way which is just throw it all the way back a absolutely yes Throwing back to to three years ago when your sponsor <laughs> joined the sport for the first time is is not a throwback. If you're not throwing back at least a couple of decades, you need to revise your strategy. We want old paint schemes that remember that, that make us remember when. I know they haven't all been released yet, but is there one that you're looking forward to seeing this weekend? I might surprise you a little bit. Uh, I'm I, I really like the double zero car. Uh, that is thrown back to the old Bobby Allison Miller High Life gold white with green stripes uh, 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 paint scheme. I just I love that one, man. The minute it the minute it hit the internet, I said, yeah, I know where that one came from. Awesome. Okay, so Cup Racing was off this past weekend, but I have to ask you about the truck finish out in Canada. What did you think about the double G dust up, Gregson and Gilliland? Oh, the double G dust up. I, I, well, uh, it didn't surprise me. We've had finishes like that uh, about two thirds of the time at Canadian Tire Motorsports Park. It was Todd Gilliland who had every reason to be aggressive trying to win his first race. It, it was Noah Gregson who had every reason to be aggressive uh, trying to get off to a great start in the playoffs, and it went really, really badly for both of them. Uh, if Kyle Busch hadn't been on vacation all week this week, he'd probably be in a really bad mood as a result of that. Yes, one. he was in paradise, so of course he was he was okay with it. I'm, I'm, I'm sure now it's a different story. But Gregson, you know, he's proved himself to be pretty aggressive on the racetrack. A lot would say that you'd rather reel a driver in than have to amp them up. But, but where is that line, do you think, between aggressiveness and a bad decision? Well, if I knew that, I, I would draw a map or, or make up a chart or write a book or something, or at least a pamphlet saying, here's how to do it right versus doing it wrong. The problem with it is every situation is a little bit different. And especially when you've got young kids like Noah Gregson and Todd Gilliland, you know, the way you learn in this sport is to make mistakes. The hardest lessons uh, are, the, are the toughest ones. You know, the best lessons are the ones you learn the hard way. And Noah learned one the hard way at Dover this year when he got into it late with Johnny Sauter. He and Todd, I think, both learned a hard one this past weekend, and I'm pretty sure they'll do it a little differently next time. I know you had Noah on the radio show just a few minutes ago. So did he have anything to say about making that move to the Junior Motorsports number 1 car? Uh, he said what you would expect him to say, that right now he is fully focused on winning the championship in the number 18 Safe Light Toyota for Kyle Busch Motorsports in the Camping World Truck Series, that he would love to go Xfinity Racing at some point in the future, but he has nothing to announce at this time. Okay, so that's one part of the silly season, right, which is already completely underway. Even the current champ isn't immune to some of these talks about the future or lack thereof for the 78 for Martin Truex Jr., Listen what Andy Petrie had to say on our show yesterday. Well, a week or so ago, I wouldn't have been too con uh, concerned about this. I am very concerned about it now, though, that this team may not be here. Okay, tap on Martin. There you go. Now it's working. <laughs> so I, I, have a, I have a feeling that this team won't be around next year from what I'm hearing uh, just in the last wow. few days. That's big. Wow. Yeah, it is big. This, this is big, right? I mean, you win a championship, and then there's talk that this team might not even be around the following year. What do you think? I'm not sure what to think at this point, Shannon. The one thing we know for sure is that there have been conversations had between Furniture Row Racing and GMS in the, in the Xfinity and Truck Series. It doesn't look like any of them are going to come to fruition, but if Barney Visser was 100% was sure that he was going to come back and do this thing again next year, he wouldn't be talking to, to people who he could potentially sell his team to or partner up with down the road. So clearly there's at least the possibility of some change in the air for Furniture Row Racing.
Okay, so I know what car you're looking forward to this weekend. Which of the big three do you think could get the victory in Darlington? Boy, I'll tell you, you know, I, I just, I, I love veteran drivers, and all three of them are veteran drivers. Harvick's been great there in the past. Truex has been great there in the past. You know, Kyle's great everywhere. It, it's like pick, it, It's like looking for a four-leaf clover. It's hard to pick one, but if I've got to, I'll go with Kyle Busch to win the Southern 500. All right, mark the tape. Kyle Busch, that's what Dave Moody said. Dave, we appreciate it, and thank you for being a good sport with the picture. I fully expect revenge to head my way. I had no choice, but yes, you can fully expect revenge. Have a great day. Talk to you later. See you.